Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GTR3 Pro Limited Edition and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button on your watch. Once you see the Amazfit logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch boots up, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down. Now find the language you would like to use and then tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, you will see the QR code, which basically means we need to download and install the Zep application on our iPhone. So make sure, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on search tap on the search bar, type in ZEP and tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, ZEP by Huami Inc. Tap on it, tap on the get, get button to download and install it, of course. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open. If you see the pop-up about the Bluetooth, tap on Allow. And now you should see the login page in the app. If you don't have an account, you can tap on Sign Up or use the third-party accounts like Apple, uh, Facebook, Google. I already have one, so I'm gonna simply just log in with the email address and password. So give me a second. Okay. And then we can sign in. After you sign in, you may see more pop-ups about the permissions. For example, the permission to access the motion and activity, the location permission, uh, and stuff like that. The location permission is required for the local weather, uh, tracking your uh, routes or trajectory on the map when you're running, cycling, and stuff like that. So if you want to use any of these features, allow the location permission. Next, we have the and motion and activity. This is useful for the step counting and stuff like that. So if you want to use step counter, allow the permission. Next, you have the notifications. So this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use it, allow the permission. And finally, we have the access to Apple Health. Stop on OK. And <clears throat> if you want to use any of the health features on your watch, and you want to basically read and write the data for them, you will need to allow them right here. You can customize it to your liking. I'm just gonna tap on turn on all and then tap on uh, allow to allow it. And once you're done with the permissions, you should see the homepage of the app. Now you can tap on profile, tap on add device, tap on watch, tap on agree, allow, and it will open this page. And basically what we need to do is to point our a phone's camera on the QR code on the watch to scan it. So basically pick up your iPhone, point it at the watch, and once it scans the QR code, it will start uh, pairing the devices. Tap on the check mark on the watch. Here we can synchronize the data from the previous devices. So if you, if you had any devices uh, connected to your account previously, you can basically synchronize the data from them to your new device. Something like um, settings, uh, workout data and stuff like that. So if you want to synchronize any of these, you can check or uncheck the boxes and then tap on synchronize account information. I don't need to do it. I, I just want to set it up as a new device. So I'm going to tap on a set as new device. Tap on done. Done. And if you see this pop-up, it's about the Bluetooth calls. So if you want to use your watch um, or use the call feature on your watch, because you, ca you can call from this watch through the Bluetooth, basically, uh, you will need to do what this tutorial sa says. So basically, we need to go to settings. Uh, as you can see, we have another pop-up about the notification permission. I'm going to allow it. But if you don't care about the notifications, you can deny it. But anyway, 
Uh, in the settings, we need to tap on Bluetooth. And on the list of other devices, you will see the MSFET GTR3 Pro, uh, LTD and some numbers. Once you see it, tap on it. Tap on pair, tap on the check mark to confirm. And it will appear right here and it's gonna say connected. Once it does, we can go back to the app. You will see Bluetooth calling pair successful. Wait until this pop-up appears, tap on pair. And now it's done. And that's basically it. That's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.